Immigration has become a major challenge to the West. People want to migrate to the West because it respects individual rights and freedoms. It believes in human dignity and equality. It puts law over rulers and stands for good education. The West has been the engine for scientific and technological advance. But the West was not always like this. And once again, before our eyes, it is changing. Although it is still the least corrupt and the best developed part of the world, now it labels itself as post-truth. People no longer trust their politicians, the press, and even the integrity of some of their scientists and industry. So what made the modern West a civilization that believed in truth? 2000 years ago, a Roman governor was able to declare a public figure innocent and then go on to crucify him. How could he do that? Didn't he know that he was violating his fundamental right to life and destroying the people's trust in judicial system? Well, back then, the West did not rely on trust. It terrorized people into submission. It did not believe in truth because the Greeks learned that the human mind left to itself could not know truth. Therefore, they built their culture on myths, magic and mysticism. A return to truth created the modern West. Let me illustrate. I was trying to buy tram tickets in Amsterdam. I asked two Americans, how does this machine work? Why do you want to buy tickets, they said. We've been traveling around for two days. No one has come to check tickets. I was amazed. How did Holland create a society that could trust its citizens? And why is the new generation rejecting the morality that resulted in the West's unique freedom and prosperity? 500 years ago, the pre-modern West was as corrupt as my nation. What caused the change was a movement called the Reformation. The reformers were rebels. Most rebellions destroy. 16th century reformers succeeded because they enthroned truth above themselves and their religion. Can we know truth? The reformers sought truth because they believed in a creator who knows truth and communicates it just as a father teaches truth to his children. They followed the Bible's teaching articulated best by St. Augustine. The human mind was made in God's image. Therefore, it can and ought to seek truth. This faith in knowable, rational truth made the West a uniquely thinking civilization. In contrast, the Buddhist monks in China didn't read the books they received. Their sacred texts taught them that words cannot communicate truth. Therefore, they meditated on the sacred sound of their rotating bookcases. The Bible transformed Holland because it inspired the Reformed Church to educate every child. Education grounded in the Bible cultivated love for truth and virtue. Pagans made up their own gods. The postmodern West is like the pre-modern age. Both reject objective truth and morality. They make up their own truths and moral values. Flexible morality destroys a society's moral capital. It makes it difficult to trust each other. By becoming post-Christian, the West has naturally become postmodern and post-truth. It has amputated its soul, the Bible, which created the modern world. Once again, human opinions, feelings and vested interests claim authority over truth. The quest for truth was the engine of the West's intellectual, economic and social success. Losing truth means losing trust. To lose trust is to lose peace, progress, and prosperity. Truth matters.